99 FM. Yes, it's a different voice that you hear now. You're wondering what's going on. Well, we're bidding farewell to our illustrious or most amazing. I can't believe it. The goddess. And you know, I firstly, um, to all the listeners in the audience, yeah. I just want to say this was so sweet. So yeah. I just did the Bravo Namibia segment. Yeah. All you, happy, you. excited about <laughs> Yemi Ala Day. I go off for a quick break. I come back in, and everybody from the production team of 99 FM is in the studio. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, what the? <laughs> What's going on in here? They definitely caught me off guard. Thank you. That was incredibly sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, and I got flowers. How do you know I was doing the gardening thing, folks? Hey. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. I needed these. Okay. Now I'm going to dive a little deeper into that. Now you are a media powerhouse. I'm in Mogal. Mogal. So since now you're on the other side, I, I have to do your job <laughs> on this side. So let me do it proper. Let me do it proper. Okay, let me do it. Cool. <coughs> Royal House Life things. <coughs> A media powerhouse, queen of the stage, celebrated music critic, Cher Ulenga is the gift that keeps giving when you talk about Namibian entertainment and radio. And so, oh man, as she bids farewell to 99FM and the ignition, we're here to have a sit down to hear her own. This is officially you. <laughs> your own royal hustler My story. My own royal hustler. You know, I've never thought about being on this side of the mic in this particular <laughs> segment. Really, I didn't. And listening to other Namibian yeah. stories like yeah. would make me think of my story a lot. And um, you know, I had other plans for my story mm. and for future, right? But I'm excited to then take this and um, see what I'm honored to be interviewed by you, Mugia. Hi, <laughs> Mugia. Thank you, Mugia. Also, yeah, I'm so please. honored to, to, to interview you. On the, the inter show, The even. interviewer of Note Together. <laughs> so let's dash straight into it. Yeah. Babes, tell us a bit about your background and what made you who you are today. So I, and you know, people always say, like, she's always talking about Dolam. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. From Kadutura Hospital, my parents took me to Dolam. And mm. that's where I was raised. Yeah. I was raised by a community. I was raised by um, transgender women hey, out there. They used to put us in the stop oh. I used to be a tampur I can do mm -hmm. that. Especially after my father um, yeah. established the Congress of Democrats, yeah. and we were very supportive in yeah. that nature of him. I was born in 1986. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just the first crop that mm -hmm. went into the the laws and the school and ed education system after Namibia gained independence. Yeah. So I went to Ida Hoffman um, um, kindergarten mm -hmm. and then I started off at St. George's until grade three and from yeah. there on I went over to Paniesba Primary yeah. School. The Sikome Afrikaans was saving okay, us. Okay. The Sikome okay. Afrikaans was okay. okay. yeah. okay. yeah. saving yeah. And I spent yeah. my years in primary school until grade seven out there and went to Bintik International yeah. School, which I think that's where I found myself. Mm -hmm. um, religion was not necessarily taken away. You were more encouraged to practice to what is more for you yeah. whether you are more spiritual you are also exposed to quite a number of backgrounds of children mm. from the world and being a Namibian girl going to school from Dola McWiz was like yo guys Shay's personality yeah. started developing there already um, I became a cool cat. I started playing <laughs> basketball. Yeah. I played for Wildcats. And imagine this is from a girl that was shy to make friends you in primary school. Yeah, but no. I'm like the shyest you thing in the world. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I say, guys, yeah. it's a switch. Mm -hmm. It's a switch. You switch it on, and you can never ever disappoint the listeners or the audience with your own issues. You come and you bring it to the table. And mm -hmm. every time I've been on stage or on air, that's a selling point for me. That's how I see it. So during oh, that that expansion of you, what was like your biggest dream? Biggest dream, um, I wanted to be a teacher. No, shut your mouth. Yes, and then I would be, I wanted to be a forensic psychologist. Hey, yes. <laughs> yes, I think. Because yes, I am Scorpio, dark, deep, <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> 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 Then life happened. Um, life took me way to a point where I had to mature very fast as a young teen mom. Mm -hmm. And I decided to dedicate everything to my son, at least until the boy could walk, he could yes, talk, and yes. he would understand that I was his mother. Yes. And during that process of finding myself, that was two years after my son's birth, I embarked on an opportunity to just go and touch base again with my peers. Mm -hmm. I remember being at the theater school, the Bankman Theater School, and DJ X and Wea were there. And yeah. I had been an in caller of Casey at that time already. I was already, you know, can hi, I, can, can I press a song? Hi, can you please dedicate it to Dola? Because <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That was me. Energy and bass at the very right time, KCR. So, um, X said, yo, listen, um, we got auditions. Mm -hmm. And then I went for the auditions and I got the gig. The first time on air, I was thrown into the, to the waters. Yeah. Um, the production guy was too busy producing things in the back. My co-host was learning how to be a teacher. He was going to school, so that wow. day I was alone. And the first time the mic fader went up, I pushed it up and um, music was playing. And yeah. I spoke and I heard myself in the headsets and it was a stamp that was set. And 
done. I can only remember my last show from yesterday. Done. I just, yeah, that was it. And the show was called Just Drop It, by the way. Yeah. It was a youth show, and yeah. it was crazy bananas. Good enough. It was together like a Buddha in voice. The heart yeah. of the in the heart of the community at KCR. So, yeah. And that was the thing when they asked me in the audition, why did you join radio? Mm -hmm. My story was. I want to give an opportunity because my background was being exposed to so many so international many. and continental um, affiliates and Very associations so. through my parents. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought, I want to come back to my community and teach and share those experiences yeah. with other women who have gone through what I went through, mm -hmm. other women and young men who have that ambition to get out of the ghetto or just be, be able to tell their stories. Mm -hmm. And I was in it till this till, day, till, I, till I believe. Day. The responsibility that we are given as radio personalities is, is major huge. because for the last 15 years of my career, I've been part of shaping the minds of our society the and the information that we share is so vital. Yeah. It needs to be of growth and development and to get us from point A to point A, B, C, Z, X, Y, Z. We yeah. need to get to the end of the alphabet. It's true. Yeah, yeah. it's time. It's, it's and Mugia, why don't you wear so many hats and so many different aspects? Today I'm wearing a camouflage pants. Soldier shoes, yes. <laughs> and in terms of your career, you're not just how we are on air, you do this, that, and, 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 and the next. So in terms of your side hustle as a royal hustler interview, um, what has been some of those side hustles that, that you do do that people are not even aware of? I think I was really lucky and yeah. privileged um, to go into the space in the industry at a time when we were just starting mm -hmm. to lay the bricks. The foundation had been there musically and with radio presenters from the past, but we had now started building this house. Yeah. So. I had the opportunity to not only be an on-air presenter, but my first gig, Miss Okahanja, 2006, Yay! alongside Fonti. I was like, yo, this was like, I was even wearing my 21st uh, gown, my 21st birthday gown here. Yeah. What did you miss the price? It was pure white. And Fonti was in a whole white pack, and I was like, oh, honey. Oh, yeah. and, beautiful. and we were rocking it. We had so much fun. And then from there on, I think the word then spread to mm -hmm. say, you know, if you are on air, you are also capable because you already have an audience, you mm -hmm. already have a personality, mm -hmm. you can now bring that to life mm -hmm. on, on live stage. True. And my MCing career just mm -hmm. went from a bit all the way to Z, right? Yes. It was just bananas without any marketing, yes. without any profiles or whatnot. It was that the, the job word that you're mind. doing at the time is speaking for, for itself. itself. Whatever yeah. you are doing on stage, that's a chance for you to sell yourself. Yeah. Because you have people in the audience that have never seen you before, True. never heard you, and they are your new clients. Mm -hmm. And from there on, it just kept on growing. Um, yo, I use I host P Square, bruh. Um, I hey. have to run past I mean, the stage to the Give us the like CD. Double H P before his passing hey. at the jazz festival. I mean, I mean, I mean hey. Yvonne Chaka Chaka. Hey. I mean, hey. boys to me. Hey. I mean, songs. Hey. I mean, hey. Hey. Don't make me do this. <laughs> and, 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 and being on the platform here, being yeah. able to interview people like, I mean, our mayor, Jabba Mupanda, yeah. and the first lady, Monica Genkos, yeah. being able to speak to Namibian artists, being able to gel with my peers mm -hmm. and, and hear their stories. Like, it was so important for me mm -hmm. to make sure that that one also goes out there True. because there are many others who are living that dream and want to be like them someday. So why not? Speaking of which, mm -hmm. this is going to be a difficult one because we interview so many people. Best interview. Best interview. Mm. Best interview, brah. That's like really hard. It's like asking me what's my favorite, favorite music. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I must say, and I'm and not because of obvious reasons, um, because she is the first lady mm. of Namibia. Mm. But I think when you interview and you talk to somebody like Monica Genko, she's so pure. Yeah. Um, you don't know her story until you actually, you don't know anybody until you sit down and you talk to them. You have no idea, you can read in the papers, you can see them on the street and make your own judgments, but until you sit down with somebody and you speak to them, mm -hmm. then you realize who this who person are. is. When they speak in their gestures and their bodily yeah. language, really does talk about yeah. their pure essence. And I think that we are in very good hands when it comes to that woman. So in particular, she was one of my favorites. Yeah. I'm also recently had an interview with Desiree Matias, who's yeah. the youth advisor to the president, mm -hmm. and she was also from the very phenomenal, yeah. and it was confidence all the way, and I really appreciate that because her her feedback was that you know there's an ability or in your share that makes people comfortable, and I think it's because my parents taught me that you greet the kitchen lady with the same, same. respect you greet same. the CEO. Same. Everywhere I go, yeah. I have to make sure that the petrol joke danki danki mi pa. That's how it Even is. Even those so are the spray you would sanitize. Thank, thank, thank you, Papa. For safety. 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 Yes. Measures. Whatever. Yeah. There was one. So it's yeah. very important to recognize each other as human beings mm -hmm. first, first before anything else. Entitled and everything. Yeah.
yeah. a lot of people look up to you, Miguel, you know this, a mm -hmm. lot. And, and, and it's very humbling, um, but it, it's also a lot of responsibility. So if you could give anybody who wants to get into this industry, like, oh, because I think it's easy. Oh my gosh, welcome to Nights Night and Daily News, Nights Night. So if you can give them tips to succeed in this industry, three tips, what would that be? The first would be to be yourself. Yeah. Don't you ever let any environment, any situation, any of your past experiences in life change you. You have a genuine unique, that's what they taught us ever since, I mean, it's cliche, and my mm. boss Christine always used to say that it's, it's a cliche because it's true. True, yeah. yeah. You are unique yeah. from the, what they taught us in school about you being you, unique, that's, that's yeah. really you. You were born to stand out because there's nobody like you. Yeah. And if you want to bring happiness and joy into people's lives, and that's what you give, you give yourself. So that's one thing. The other thing is that do research, yeah. learn, read, read, read. Even if you're just reading the newspaper every day, read. Yeah. Go back, look at the notes, take a look at what the stories are saying. Be very involved in community. Volunteer when now? is my third one. That's how I started, yeah. volunteering. Um, a lot of my royal hustlers say this, that the millennials, they're scared of the Zula. They're scared Ish. to get their hands dirty. But you have to get your hands dirty. You have to give yourself without get expecting yourself off, anything yeah. in, in return, return, firstly. Do the work. Do the, do work. the work first. The yes. money will come later. Yeah. 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 Now, it hasn't always been smooth sailing. We always have our hiccups off air on air we just but we recover quickly but don't <laughs> but now but I, I want you to expose yourself Miguel the most embarrassing moment on air <laughs> where do I start <laughs> Lenti every day there's a blunder every day there's a blunder you get the little shock and you're like oh, <laughs> what do I say when I come back on air hopefully nobody notices I'm just gonna talk it away because yeah. <laughs> at, at some point um, in, in, in training here um, I learned that if you don't acknowledge it, yes. then people will forget about it. Yes. <laughs> but try your best not to. Yeah. Because remember yeah. when you're coming through, you're trying to just be your best. Bro. The smoothest transactions, as, as the possible. smoothest jams, yeah. the smoothest little yeah. click silk, silk fingers. Silk fingers. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't worry about your voice, honey. Turn it up and turn it on. Mm -hmm. It's just make it work. Yeah. My At the end of the day, my goal is to share this vivacious, vibracious energy in the mornings mm -hmm. with my listener. If you're not feeling it in the stereo, and then, then in your not car, translated. then we're not together. Yeah, not. So my job is to sink through the airwaves into your presence there where you are. And I hope that you, for the last... Because you, you didn't confess. Have you spilled any secrets when you forgot was, your mic on? I, <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, that's the strangest thing. Like, you know, I cuss a lot in my, in my life. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have never... never like, you know, it's just like... It's automatic. Yeah, it's true. Um, you've done something for so long, it just becomes a part Second of you. Nature. And people must learn, you're not paying me for the two hours that you have booked me. Mm -hmm. You're paying me for the 15 years that I have Experience worked on them. my skill. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. self-taught, mind you. Wait, so no. let's eat this jam. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Hey, finally, hey. your hopes for Nubian Radio. Oh, yes, honey. We are going to work and we are going to make it work. Mm. Um, people always talk about how radio is going to die. No, it doesn't die. It evolves. It's true. It's going into the different platforms. Mm -hmm. It's still radio because it's still a human being. It's still personal. Mm -hmm. But my most favorite is traditional radio. Yeah. And, um, yo, if we can just sync nicely, mm -hmm. align ourselves properly with our ethics as media and radio journalists, mm -hmm. and be able to go deeper and intensify the situation and bring up the topics, because it's our responsibility to mm -hmm. ask the questions that the people are afraid to ask. Mm -hmm. If are we can not, get no, those too. things in order, yeah. then we could be the top of the crop in Africa as well. I believe that our transatlantic accents that we have here on A, hey, they are always as, and hey. you know, we are so cultured as radio <laughs> presenters. Are, like, are, we've got are. some crazy radio stations yeah. in Namibia, yeah. 99 FM being one of the best of them, I yeah. tell you now. And I can't wait like to see in the next five years like you're gonna have Africans tuning in True. because we are telling not only the Namibian story, story but the African story mm -hmm. and it's crazy because so many people are coming to Namibia when they're driving from the airport and they are driving in Ventu in the cab or they in their driver's car they're tuning into the radio stations because they want to hear what's going on there and that's exactly where they need to pick it up so that's you on air on your pulse mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. they're just saying, see what well, la, 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 doing your thing crazy mm -hmm. and that's when they fall in love because mm -hmm. now they're learning from the people who are the representatives of yeah. the masses and that's us the radio presenters and journalists so it's our job let's be responsible and um, give growth and, and do the right thing yeah. to bring our people up to the par of the world right? Miguel you have been such an amazing custodian you know of, of, of 99 FM and you have woken us up with the same energy in and out you're not called the goddess of the airways for nothing so we, we thank you we send you off 
but in because you also you know you're not going anywhere when you want to go. <laughs> so you will be within and without. It is right. <laughs> with so much light, with so much love and with growth and just, you know, propelling. We're shooting you out and we're shooting you forward. So to our royal hustle love. Yeah. Woo, 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 yeah. Do you want to It's been an honor to be a part of this team for the last nine years, y'all. Um, starting off, it was very hard to find something I love. Mm -hmm. And I was told that you have a space here where you can be free. Um, we went looking for you and we found you. And I feel like you fit in properly. Yeah. And I had to learn, Baba. We had to chip away things. There were some really, really tough times. Mm -hmm. But then there were some of the bestest times ever as well. And I will forever cherish that and cherish the opportunity and the platform to be me in this space. Thank you, Namibia. Thank you, 99 Oh, Thank you, Shay.